Yo, 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 it's your boy Steve from Straight Fire Picks. We got best bets for NFL Week 6, Sunday Night Football between the Dallas Cowboys and the Philadelphia Eagles on Sunday, October 16th, 2022. We're going to have NFL player prop spreads, money lines, over-unders, and the same game parlay here for you today. We're going to have three picks and, like I said, the same game parlay that I think are great value bets for the Sunday Night Football game between the Cowboys and the Eagles. As always, just want to thank you all for continued support here on the channel. If you're new to the channel here today, please be sure to hit that like and subscribe button. Always appreciate that. We are on the road to 7,000 subscribers. Reminder here at the channel, guys, that we are partnered with Price Picks, so be sure to use our code SFP for 100% deposit match and your first deposit up to $100 on Price Picks. Really is a great app, guys. They specialize in player props and things of that nature. You put multiple picks into an entry to win a lot of money, and it really is a lot of fun to use. Highly encourage you to check it out. Like I said, use our code SFP for that 100% deposit match or one of our links that we have down below in the comment section and in the description. Be sure to also check out our community Discord page as well. Great place to connect with our community and to get new ideas for bets. We'll also have a link in the comment section and in the description for that. Be sure to also place your favorite bet down below in the comment section. If you like your pick included in our comment capper section, just be sure to put a star or an asterisk next to your pick. And we'll include your pick in the video if it hits. Okay, now it's time for our shout out to our Straight Fire MVPs. So as always, guys, you see this beautiful list running beside me of all of our Straight Fire MVPs. If you guys are interested in becoming a Straight Fire MVP, there's a join button down below. We'll also have a link in the comment section and in the description for that. Really is a great way to support the channel and what we do here at the channel. It's just $3.99 per month. You get access to our picks early, so I always post the picks up about a day in advance. Um, and the community tab on our YouTube, if, if we could do that. Basically, it's whenever I'm done with the research, I post up the research in there. Uh, if you guys want some early lines. You also get a badge next to your name, some custom emojis, roll color in the Discord, and shoutouts in our videos. And it's just a great way to support the channel and what we do here. So, appreciate y'all. Thank you guys all for that. Now let's get into the results from the previous episode. So this is from Thursday Night Football. Uh, we ended up going one and two. Honestly, it was kind of sad. Uh, you know, we had the Bears money line, and honestly, the Bears outgained the Commanders two to one in yardage. Really outplayed them most of the game. Just a couple silly, stupid things they did. Their woes down inside the five yard line. It was just, it was kind of a nasty beat, right? And Muff punt pretty much gave that game away. And they still would have had the game, you know, despite all the bad things they did inside the five-yard line. They had turnovers, uh, you know, fields to it, you know, that pop-up interception, um, the muff punt, all the penalties. So many things that, you know, the Bears just wanted to give that game away. But they outplayed them. I mean, they, like I said, 2-1 to one in yards. I can't believe we lost that bet, but there's not a lot we could do about that. Then we had Darnell Mooney over on receiving yards. We did catch that one, catch that one pretty easily. It was pretty apparent early on that he was going to get that. Um, and then we missed the Carson Wentz over 11 and a half rushing yards. Um, you know, I thought we'd see him break loose a little bit, and he just could not get anything going in that regard. As far as our comment cappers go, Anthony Moe called the Commander's money line, was able to cash that. So good call out there from Anthony Moe. Uh, but we're going to get back after it today, guys. I'm really excited about this Eagles Cowboys game. I've been looking forward to this one for a while. Uh, so we're going to get after it today, guys. We're going to get this 3-0 sweep and cash this same game parlay. A lot of value I love on this game. Like I said, it's going to be a great Sunday night football game. So let's get right into our picks here. At number one, we are going with Noah Brown, under 36.5 receiving yards here for the Dallas Cowboys, minus 115 odds here on BetMGM. So guys, here for Noah Brown, we actually took his over a couple weeks ago versus the New York Giants, and we cashed that. He had over 50 yards receiving uh, but here I'm really liking his under, especially with Michael Gallup now back in the lineup here for the Cowboys. His target share and receptions have both dropped off over the last couple weeks. Just eight targets, four catches over the last two weeks. Just two targets last week. So I think here versus a very good Philly defense, they play the pass very well. The Eagles are third in defensive DBOA versus the pass, so that's obviously very good. It was sixth best in pass yards allowed per game as well, 189.4. So... I don't think there's going to be a ton of opportunity for Brown. Could he break a big one? Sure, he is a, a deeper target, but I don't see that happening here, honestly. I see both these teams wanting to run the football. I think it's be a low-scoring divisional contest. Uh, really hard fought. It's going to be a physical game. I just don't see a lot of room here for Brown to get a ton of targets. Obviously, with Michael Gallup back, that's going to eat into his target share. Has been eating into, into his target share. Like I said, he's been tre trending down. And Noah Brown, even without that, has been performing a little bit worse on the road as well. 
Uh, he had just one catch for five yards last week versus the Rams at the Rams. And uh, even that game we took versus the Giants, it was one of his lower receiving games. Um, so he's actually his two lowest receiving totals of the season. He's had both on the road. Um, and at home, at home, he's had three of his best. So I like taking him here on the road for the under versus a very good defense, like I said, with Michael Gallup back. Um, and I think the game plan here is going to be to run the football for the Cowboys. If the Eagles have a weakness on defense, it would be more on the run game. Eagles 20th in, de in defensive DVOA versus the run. So they do struggle a little bit versus the run at times. And I think here this is a good opportunity here uh, for the Cowboys to run the ball. Um, and it, you know, it could be similar to last week. Russell attempted 15 passes last week. Could be something like that again, honestly. I, you know, and you know, here Noah Brown just with Michael Gallup being back. If uh, we're going to see some passes down the field, you can look to see Gallup get a few more of those. So do love it there, guys, for our number one pick. We're going Noah Brown, under 36.5 receiving yards here for the Dallas Cowboys, minus 115 odds on BetMGM. Okay, and at number two, we're going with Jalen Hurts, under 236.5 passing yards here for the Philadelphia Eagles, minus 114 odds on Fandle. This actually has a similar type of idea that we just talked about there with Noah Brown. Both these teams actually play the pass well. Cowboys are fourth in defensive uh, DVOA versus the pass, which, honestly, I like to see that as well. They're eighth in pass yards allowed per game at 193.8. So both these pass defenses right now can get it done. Um, and same for the Cowboys on the flip. They struggle a little bit more versus the run. They're 18th in DVOA versus the run. Um, so, obviously, I like to see that. Hurts, you know, here over the last couple weeks, has also been trending down a little bit with his passing yards posting logs of 239 and 204 over the last couple weeks. And I think, like we said, I think we're going to see a lot of running of the football on both sides. And I think the Eagles here uh, behind that offensive line, you know, I think we'll be able to run the football with Sanders and with Hurts. I'm looking for Hurts to have a big rushing game. I actually do like his over for rushing yards as well. I think that's a good look on his over. So total, I believe, is 49 and a half, which is a good look on that one. Uh, I just think it's going to be a physical football game, guys, with a lot of running. And like I said, we want to attack the weaknesses of the defense if they have a weakness. I mean, both these defenses, honestly, are pretty good, really, on both sides. But, um, you know, versus the run, they do struggle a little bit more. Um, and Hurts here, that's kind of a high total for him. I know he's had a couple of big games this year. You know, I've seen him go over 300 a couple times. But he also hasn't played the best of competition. I mean, he's played the Commanders. He's played the Lions. He's played the Jaguars, who he actually went, uh, I believe, under in that game. Um, so it, the strength of schedule here for the Eagles, guys, they haven't really played a lot of heavy opponents here early. Uh, so I think versus this Cowboys secondary, they are playing much better this year. Trayvon Diggs looks a little bit more disciplined this year, year as well, which I think is helping out their pass defense as well. So do love it there, guys, though. I think Hurts goes under again today. Uh, we're going to see a pretty good game, I think. We're going to see a physical game. Love it there for our number two pick. Going Jalen Hurts, under 236.5 passing yards here for the Philadelphia Eagles. Minus 114 odds on FanDuel. Okay, and finally at number three, we are rolling with the Dallas Cowboys. Plus 6.5 spread here versus the Philadelphia Eagles. Minus 110 odds on FanDuel. So you guys will know if you guys watched my other video, I took this in this video and that video too. So it's pretty much the same breakdown. So you guys can skip this if you already saw uh, my breakdown on it in the other video. Uh, I wanted to take that line early in case it moved back. But six and a half is, I think, is great value here, guys. The Cowboys are still being disrespected week after week. We are 4 and 0 oh the last four weeks here at Straight Fire Picks betting on the Dallas Cowboys spread. So obviously, we're going to ride this gravy train. I think the Cowboys, at the very least, will keep this game close. I think, honestly, they'll have a great shot to win again. This defense is playing all world right now. Cooper Rush is making great decisions and they're running the football great. Um, all those things, obviously, I like to see. The big thing is the turnovers, right? They're not turning the football over. They're first to giveaways right now with just two on the season. They've been playing great in that department. That's really a big thing I look at. You talk about an NFL game a lot of times. How is it decided? How was it decided on Thursday night? It was just because of turnovers. You know, all night, the Commanders, I mean, the Commanders were outplayed by the Bears, but the Bears committed a couple costly turnovers, and that was the difference in the game. And I think here, that could be the difference here. I think, you know, Hurts and the Eagles, if they turn it over, you know, don't expect the Cowboys to turn it over. They haven't been doing that. Um, so I'm looking for the Cowboys to take care of the football, run the football, Cooper Rush, keep doing their thing, make those good decisions. 
And um, just stay within the confines. I think this defense will have a great chance to carry them to another win. This defense is so good right now, guys. You can rely on them. And Rush, honestly, I think if he has to throw, I think he can make all the throws you want him to make. I really do believe that. Uh, you know, we've seen that at times when they've needed him to make throws, and he can certainly do that when he's needed. Uh, we saw him do it on the road versus the Vikings last year. We saw him do it against the Bengals this year. We saw him do it even versus the Giants when they were trailing in that game. He can make the throws when he needs to, but a lot of times he, you know, his defense is playing so good right now, he doesn't really need to do that. Um, and honestly, um, I think I trust both. Right now I trust Cooper Rush. He's 5-0 and as a starter. I love that, you know. Um, and honestly, I think there should be a quarterback controversy in Dallas. I really do believe that. I think the guy that's winning, that's the most important stat. For whatever reason, you can say you can attribute it to Rush. You know, some of it's not Rush. A lot of it's not Rush, obviously. A lot of it's their defense, but... Defense is playing better under Rush. Isn't there something with a quarterback where they inspire your team to better things, right? Um, and I think right now this defense is just pumped to be playing behind a guy that won't let them down. You know, he's delivering for them right now. He's making good decisions, not putting them in a bad position. So I think it's getting that defense fired up too. I think it does have something to do with the defense play. It's the same thing with the Tom Brady effect, right? Uh, until he goes to Tampa... It's not always Tom Brady winning games for the Bucks, right, over the last few years. It's been their defense. Their defense won that Super Bowl. And honestly, you know, you don't necessarily need an all-world quarterback to win a Super Bowl here, guys. I think Rush can continue to make good decisions. I think this Cowboys team is obviously going to cover the spread. I love what they've been doing. They're, um, you know, they're just they're playing terrific. They're sixth in defensive DVOA. Now, the Eagles are fifth. Both these defenses really are pretty good. But I just, I'm anticipating a close football game. With a, chance, with a shot here for the boys to take it out on the road. So, honestly, guys, do love it there for our number three pick. We're going Dallas Cowboys, plus six and a half spread here versus the Philadelphia Eagles, minus 110 odds on FanDuel. Okay, guys, it is time for us to make way for the same game parlay. So, I really do love these selections, guys. We got Jalen Hurts, anytime touchdown scorer. He's actually scored a touchdown in four out of five games this year with six touchdowns total. So, usually when they get the red zone, they get down near the goal line, they're looking to take it in there with Jalen Hurts. I think he'll have a great shot to do that again today. Like I said, the Cowboys have a defensive weakness. It'd be a little bit versus the run. So I think Hurts could punch one in here. Um, same thing here with Ezekiel Elliott. Anytime touchdown, there's some great value on his touchdown as well. Um, I think, you know, they get down inside the five. They don't have to give that football to Zeke Elliott and try to get him in um, from close range. I think he'll have a good shot to do so. Um, and then Jalen Hurts, 70-plus rushing yards. This is where you're really getting the value on this parlay. This is why this parlay is able to jump from, like, plus 1,000 to about plus 1,700. Um, his line's about 50. But I think Hurts here could have a big game on the ground. I think, you know, we're looking for him really to break one big one off, which I think he could do. Um, he's obviously having a very good season so far running the football and throwing the football. But I think in this game, you know, for both teams to run the football, I think Hurts is going to have a great shot to hit that 70-yard mark. So, do love it here for our same game probably. I'm putting officially a tenth of a unit on it. So, try carefully. Don't go crazy with stuff like this because these are still hard to cash, guys. Uh, we need the game flow and our narrative to be what we just said. We need a lot of running of the football, but you never know sometimes. Things can always change. Um, but I do love the value on this one. So take it there for our same game parlay. We got Hertz, Elliott, touchdown scores, and Hertz also to get 70 rushing yards. Okay, guys, it's now time for the odd sham segment of our video where I show you guys the lines and where I pull them from. So for our number one play here, we got Noah Brown um, under on receiving yards. So we go right down here to the Eagles and Cowboys game and click on that. Um, and then we go right here under here, player receiving yards. So we're looking for Noah Brown. Scroll down right to here, 36 and a half right here. Your best value, minus 115 right there on BetMGM. You see it's minus 111 there on Thrive, but that's a fantasy site. So that's our best value on a sports book. So we'll take that one there. Uh, and then for passing yards here for Jalen Hurts is what we're looking for. So we go down right down, let's see, player passing yards. Let's see here. Um, hmm, player passing yards, let's see. Man, it's looting me. Right there, guys. Okay, we got it. <laughs> All right, Jalen Hurts, 236.5 for the passing yards. Looking for the under. Again, minus 114 right now. Your best value on a book right now. Um, right there on FanDuel. So, I would like to see that. Now, our point spread, we got, let's see, we got the Cowboys plus 6.5. Pretty much minus 110 across. 
Now it is minus 108, minus 109 here. Obviously, if you have these books, you could take those, but this is pretty much you know, nothing really to worry about here. Pretty much standard value across the book. So I just wanted to show you guys where I pull the lines from. If you guys are interested in checking out Odds Jam, you can check it out on a free basis. Use our link down below in the comment section and in the description. You can sign up for a free seven day trial. You can check it out. There's many different things you can do on Odds Jam, like the bet tracker. Uh, betting education, there's all sorts of stuff you can check out. Different calculators you can use, a lot of fun stuff that you can check out on Odds Jam. Then they have different plans starting at around forty dollars per month, um, so you guys can check that check that out if you're interested. Okay, guys, that's gonna do it for our picks. If you enjoyed the content, please be sure to hit that like and subscribe button. Always appreciate that. We are on the road to seven thousand subscribers, guys. We got the NBA shirt on. We got NBA starting next week. I'm super excited for that. So we're going to have NBA videos coming to the channel Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday of every week is what we're looking to do. So um, especially during the NFL season, we got to still take it easy because, uh, you know, it's hard to cover everything every day. But obviously I'll still be paying attention to everything on a daily basis, maybe posting plays up on other days as well um, on our community tab. But as far as videos go, we'll have Wednesday, Thursday, Friday for videos. Uh, appreciate all of your guys' support. It's been an awesome run here at the channel. You guys absolutely rock. We're still looking to really get out of roll in the NFL. We've kind of been stagnant in the NFL. Right now, currently sitting at 33 and 37 on the season in the NFL. That's not the standard that I like to set. Obviously, I like to be much better than that. So, for those of you that have taken the picks and uh, have had some disappointing weeks, I do apologize about that. We do want to do better. Um, you know, I put a lot into this, so... Expected things to go our way. Like I said, Thursday was nasty, at least on the Barrels money line. That was, that was just a really painful beat for me. Um, and we've had a lot of just unlucky stuff happen this year. So we're going to start turning our look around, though. We're going to have a big week here in week six. It's really a big week for us. So let's get after it. I wish you guys the best of luck. Let's have a big week. Let me know what you guys are playing down below. Other than that, that is going to do it for me. I hope you guys have a great rest of your week, and we will catch you next time. Peace out.